Hi everybody, I hope you guys are doing great at home. I'm back again this week with another story. This time I have a book that has a collection of little critter stories in it, but I'm only going to read one story out of the collection. We're going to read Good For Me And You. And what I really like about the little critter books is that there's always a little mouse hiding in the pictures that you can look for. So you're gonna help me find the mouse in the pictures. Today in school, we learned about what foods are good for us. I asked why carrots are better for me than cookies. Because carrots have vitamins to help you grow, Miss Kitty told me. Cookies just taste good. Can you find the mouse? In gym, we did lots of exercises. First, we jumped rope. I jumped the fastest, but the rope was a little too long. The mouse is at the bottom of the page. We had a contest to see who could do the most sit-ups and push-ups. I won, almost. The next day, I made lunch for my mom, dad, and little sister. Surprise, I said, eat every bite because all of this food is good for you. Looks like he made a lot of fruits and vegetables, a big salad. And the mouse is on the table. But it looks like the mouse is feeding the cat some lettuce. After lunch, I told my family I had another surprise. I took them all on a bike ride. Come on, Dad, I said. You can do it. The mouse is in the basket. The next day, when Tiger came over to play video games, I had a great idea. The mouse is playing video games. I called all of our friends to tell them. I wonder what great idea he had. The mouse is on top of the TV. My friends and I played football all afternoon. I scored the touchdown that won the game. The mouse is blowing the whistle. The next morning, I walked to school instead of riding the bus. I had to hurry because walking sure takes longer. The mouse is hanging off of his backpack. At lunch, I almost had a brownie for dessert, but I decided to have an apple instead. On the way home, we saw a big sign. Look, said Gabby, there's going to be a race in Critterville. Let's run the race, I said. Everybody cheered. Gabby said we should do exercises to get ready for the race, but then I got hungry, so I stopped to have a snack. Tiger and Malcolm were hungry too, so I gave each of them a snack. Exercise sure gives you a big appetite. Mm, they're eating grapes. And look who else is eating a grape. The next day we went swimming. I wore my snorkel and my flippers because they make me go faster. The mouse is on the snorkel. After that, we practiced running as fast as we could. I beat Tiger. 
but Gator beat me. Malcolm beat all three of us, but Gabby beat Malcolm. Gabby is really fast. The day of the race, we all took our places at the starting line. On your marks, get set, go, called the announcer. Then he blew the whistle. I got off to a fast start. And there's the mouse. I didn't win, but I ran the whole way without stopping. Doing stuff that's good for you isn't just healthy, it's a lot of fun too. And who's hanging off of the finish line sign? The mouse. And there's little critter on his bike. Riding your bike is also exercise. That is the end of our story. I hope you guys liked that one. Little Critter is one of my favorite books to read. I will be on again next week to read you another story. Have a good week, everybody.